Merry Christmas everyone! My name is Eileen and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm going to explain to you today why we celebrate Christmas. Why Christians celebrate Christmas. It is because of only one name, Jesus Christ. And we believe that Jesus Christ is our Savior, is our Lord and our Savior. On December 25, Jesus was born and it's not really the exact date according to some historians or whatnot. Um, they say it's around the middle of the year, maybe in July, but it's really uncertain. It's not, they couldn't come up the exact date. It was 2000 years ago. And that's why our calendar or the old calendar have that BC and AD. So it's like BC before Christ and AD is after the death of Christ, after death. So that's where we get the timeline. And so it based on the birth and the death of Jesus Christ and his resurrection, of course. He resurrected on the third day when he was crucified so we celebrate christmas for the birth of our savior jesus christ he came to um to die on our behalf of because of our sins because we know that the wages of our sin is death that is in our bible in your bible as well in romans it says that the payment of our sin is death and that is second death where we can go to hell and therefore Jesus loves us and he came down here on earth conceived by a, by a virgin Mary by the power of the Holy Spirit she was pregnant and then she gave birth to Jesus and so you can find us in the Bible in any gospel of the New Testament of the Bible if you want the further story. But it's just um, a beautiful story where the Savior was born because we know that He is the Messiah. He is the Savior of all the earth. And He come and His blood is here to destroy the power of sin and to break down, so to break the power of the sin. And it's been unhiliated, and it's been gone for us, for those who accept Jesus, for those who believe Jesus Christ as their Lord and our Savior. And some might think that this is a really funny story, you know, you, you don't um, understand or get what it really meant but you know you just have to have a childlike faith and believe that this is how our God loves us so much that he came down here on earth to save you and me because in the beginning Adam and Eve has sinned and we could not pay our our sins we could not pay the price it is so costly that we're not able to redeem ourselves from sin and to come to come with God who is a holy God and therefore his son Jesus Christ came here on earth to save you and me so that the gap of the sin will be healed because of Jesus Christ it has been broken because of Jesus Christ it has been mended because of Jesus Christ, because of the blood of Jesus Christ. And we can come into a relationship, we can come back into a relationship with our Abba Father because of Jesus Christ, because of His blood. It has forgiven our sins and God is no longer seeing us as sinful, but He is seeing through Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ lived His life sinless he's a spotless lamb and he has devout his life for this he has come to 
casts out demons, he has healed lepers, he lets the blind see, he lets the lame walk, he raises the dead to life, and he comes to teach us that we should be the same as his followers. We, we are able to do it as he is also. He, he did it here on earth, and he comes to save us, to teach us, to lead us, that there is a path that leads to everlasting life. Because when we die here, it's not the end. We, we, we have a spirit, we have a soul, and it goes either to eternal glory with Him, with Jesus Christ, or either you suffer the consequences of your sin, you pay the price of your sin, and that is in hell. So this is the gospel story of Jesus Christ, and therefore we celebrate Christmas because of Jesus, because a Savior has come, and we just, and they just choose that uh, December 25th is Christmas Day is the Jesus was born we just celebrate that on that day you know that we celebrate that Jesus our Savior was born on this day and it's a grand celebration it should be grand for a grand king Jesus himself therefore we celebrate Christmas Day and well we just add up a Christmas tree but it doesn't matter. Um, I don't really put up Christmas trees on uh, uh, Christmas as well, or even uh, or believe on Santa Claus. But what's the really the essence of Christmas is our Savior Jesus Christ. So this Christmas, I wish you a happy. Christmas and spend it with your friends and take care of your health don't eat too much especially lechon for those Filipinos you know that and uh, I really miss going back home I'm still here in Singapore and we're not able to go home yet due to the pandemic due to COVID especially that I'm a nurse so they do not uh, require us to go back yet um, and I really miss my family and I'm sure a lot of nurses or not just nurses there are engineers here my friends here miss their children so much and some of them they they have not been back in the Philippines for more than one year and Though COVID-19 is uh, has come this 2020, but but it doesn't come from God. God gave us meant to give us abundant life, but the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. That's in John 10:10. 10, 10. So COVID-19 is from the enemy, but God's plans for you are much more better. And so, be happy. Be happy for this Christmas. It's going to be a beautiful year. It's going to be, it's going to get well. It's going to be better soon because of Jesus Christ. And if you're watching right now and you have not yet received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you can... Um, pray this prayer with me. You can repeat after me. There's nothing special about this prayer. But I want you to pray it and mean it in your heart. Lord God, I confess that I am a sinner. I confess that I need your son, Jesus. Please forgive me in his name. Lord Jesus, I believe you died for me and that you are alive and listening to me now. I now turn from my sins and welcome you into my heart. 
come and take control of my life. Make me the kind of person you want me to be. Now, fill me with your Holy Spirit who will show me how to live for you. I acknowledge you before men as my Savior and my Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. Congratulations, you made the most important decision that you could have in this life. It's by accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And this is not the end, but it's just the beginning of a wonderful relationship with our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. And I would like to recommend to read the Bible every day. You can start with the four Gospels, either in John, Matthew, Mark, or Luke. You can start reading the four Gospels and read about the story of Jesus Christ, of His life and know that he's a real person and he's alive right now he's watching over you and he loves you very much and please do watch my other videos especially um intimacy with god and um i do have some deliverance prayers as well if you if you need those I re read them from a book by John Ramirez and I really hope you're blessed by this video and my other videos. Thank you so much for watching and for subscribing to my channel. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye and Merry Christmas.